Hi guys, this is Shadi from Image One, and today we have Peter Marr from Canon Cinema. He's going to introduce a couple of products with us, and we'll leave it with you. Hi, how are you, Peter? Good, man. How are you? <laughs> good, good. Uh, as you can see, right here we got the C700. This is the new cinema camera. This is our high-end production camera. It's our A camera in the line for the. Now it's a C700, the C300 Mark II, and the C100 Mark II. So this camera, you guys release it. What kind of uh, market target you guys are looking for with this camera? Well, the target market we have is for higher-end production companies that need to record onboard raw footage as well as either a ProRes or an MXF codec as well. Um, these are for you know studio shooting, their location shooting, commercial film, any any high-end production company. So, is this a 4K or a 4.5K camera? Well, it's a 4K camera. There will be a firmware update that will open up the rest of the sensor to give you the 4.5K resolution off of the sensor. And what, what kind of features that make this camera unique over you know, other cameras? Well, the features that make this camera unique are some of the carryover features from the C300 Mark II. So on the sensor, we have what we call a dual pixel autofocus system. So about 80% of that footprint of that sensor has dual pixels. So now the camera can actually autofocus for you and you can adjust how the autofocus focuses, whether it's fast, whether it's slow, you can track an object, face detection with certain lenses. And also, you always have the Canon color science built into it. And now that we have a raw recorder option, and you also have the internal uh, 4K ProRes, you also have the XFABC, and you can also record a proxy file all at the same time. So what, is, what bit depth is the Maxis camera can go? Uh, this camera will go up to a 12-bit color depth. So you can record in 10-bit, and you can also record in 12-bit as well. What about the dynamic range? Uh, the dynamic range, this camera is capable of hitting 15 stops of dynamic range. So it's a very wide dynamic range. You get all the detail out of the shadows, all the detail out of the highlights, and you also get uh, some HDR, some great HDR content out of this camera. And for the mounts for this camera, we know you have the Canon lenses, I'm sure. What else? What else does camera take? Uh, this camera has two options when you buy it. You can get it with the EF, the Canon EF mount, or you can get it with the PL mount. And you also have the B4 adapter that will work with the camera as well. So anybody who has any ENG style B4 lenses, you can use all those lenses on this camera too. Awesome. Any movies, any shows, any uh, commercials we shot of this with this? Well, this camera is very new. It just started delivering about a month ago. A few production companies that have it, uh, Swiss Air just shot a commercial on there, and I think we're going to send you the link so you guys can link that up as well. Looks beautiful, looks great. This is the kind of imagery that we need to start showing everybody, and that's what you're going to expect out of this camera. So maybe you can walk us through a little bit. You know, there's a few ad add buttons and add yeah. features that you have. Maybe you can share with us a little bit. <laughs> All right, so if you, if you notice the very front of the camera, it's, uh, it's, it's slightly similar to the C300 Mark II. So you have some of the assist features built right in. There's 10 stops of ND filters built in, so you can go 2, 4, 6, 8, expand it to 8 and 10. Uh, the user interface is very similar to a lot of the higher-end cameras. So you have six quick buttons right on the side. Uh, you have a mode dial off to the side. You have an iris, or uh, you can customize this little wheel right here. You've got an amazing 1920 by 1080 viewfinder that's capable of giving you false color. Uh, the mount on the back, you can swap this mount out, and you can uh, add the Codex raw recorder that fits right into the body of the camera. And then on the back of the camera, we even have an external control panel. So this will actually give you the same controls as the control side of the camera, and it's also removable, and you can move it around, you can control the camera remotely as well. There's about a million, I might be exaggerating, but there's about a million contact points on this camera, so you have a lot of uh, 3 8 and quarter 20 thread points on here. Uh, this is an amazing camera. It's lightweight for, for its size. It's about seven pounds out of the box. Um, EF mount, PL mount, you get the B4 adapter, you have the autofocus, you have the ProRes, the 4K, uh, you also have the RAW recorder option. This camera is ready to go. While we, I know I see a really interesting lens on it here, is this the Canon lens? Can you tell us maybe a little bit more? And then maybe we can move to the 1880, but I yeah. see very interesting two lenses here. These lenses are the compact cinema zooms. Uh, Canon has a full set of Cinema Primes, and they also have a, a couple of larger zooms, and then these two compact zooms. This one's the 30 to 105, and that one's the 15 to 47. So that one's a little bit wider. This one's going to give you a little more throw. These are geared um, with 
perfect resistance. They have 11 blades of uh, iris inside. They give you a nice soft bokeh. Uh, great clear. They have the cinema coatings. They all look the same. The T-stops are exactly the same. So when you swap lenses out, you don't have to worry about changing ISO or anything like that on the camera. You know exactly where the camera's gonna be. Witness marks on both sides so the director and the AC can see exactly where you're at. And for these lenses are compatible with this camera and maybe futuristic camera. So they are a large investment. Do you have approximately any pricing ideas on them? Or? Uh, these are in the neighborhood of the $20,000 range. Okay. Um, they do have the EF mounts and you can put them on any EF camera. So even if you have a 5D Mark III okay. and you really want to use this lens on it, you can put it on there. And you can vice versa, you can use the autofocus ones too. So, uh, go ahead. Yeah, these are not autofocus. These are all manual control Correct. lenses, all the cinema lenses are. But this camera will use any EF lens that you can put on there. Any autofocus control will be used to the EF lenses. Any kind of uh, other options? I know you guys offer the prime lenses. Can you maybe share with us which ones are they that you guys offer? Yeah, there's six prime lenses in the prime lens family. There's the 14, the 24, the 35, 50, 85, and the 135. Uh, those will all work on this. Um, as far as the options on the camera body itself, you do have the zoom control. You do have the, uh, the shoulder plate underneath. You also have the rail kit. You also have power supplies, you also have the codex recorder, um, and I notice you guys always have the accessories. So you guys will have all the accessories for any camera equipment, any video equipment, you have lights, you have tripods, you guys have it all here. I know you guys have a package now available. Can you tell us a little bit more about it? Yeah, there's a, a few different packages depending on how you want it or what your needs are. So you can basically buy the entire package with a viewfinder, um, the rail kit, the shoulder kit, that's the production package. There's a lot more to it. Um, also, this side control is included into that package too. Or if you want, you can just buy the camera body and accessorize it yourself. Okay, maybe we can bring a little bit the 18 to 80 and maybe talk a little bit more about it. It's mounted right now on a C300. That's another extremely fast autofocus camera and one of the 4K uh, cinema cameras that Canon offers. Yeah, this is the uh, this is the 18 to 80. This is the first in a series of a cinema zoom camera. So it's got the best of all worlds. You have a zoom control right on the side of the camera. You also have a one shot autofocus. You can select how fast or how slow you want the zoom to go in. It has the cinema coatings, minimal focus breathing, and it's a par focal lens. So are all the cinema zooms, which means if you're focused at one end of the zoom, it will be it will be in focus at the other end of the zoom. And just while we're here, maybe we can show a little bit of C300. Any similarities or what could be the upgrade between them? Um, the cameras are very similar as far as the look and the feel. The one thing you will notice is the C700 will give you a little bit different uh, log curve. You're able to pull certain things out of it. The other thing about the C700 as well is it's a little bit bigger. You get all of the extra recording options that you wouldn't get on the C300. So with the C700, you get ProRes 4K, and you also have the raw recording um, recorder option to put on the back of the camera so you don't have to go out to a separate unit. Um, this camera is basically built off of the original Cinema EOS style, so it's built for a single camera operator. You can rig it out however you want, but if you really need to, you can grab it by the handle, you can run and gun with it, it's got autofocus, you even have all of the auto controls. There's the different color looks, the color gamuts, everything built into here. A lot of it's carried over to the C700 too. Well, awesome, been very informative. Uh, thank you guys for joining us at this uh, channel today. Uh, thank you, Peter, for explaining all these information. And we'll be having some more videos coming soon. Thank you, Peter, again. If there's anything else you want to add, we'll be happy to you can share with us right now. You know what? I'm just glad to be here. Thanks for having me. <laughs> all right, thank you. Thank you very much.